like I'm learning, I guess, because like with Mr. Carner's class, going down to the river, going down to the, the bog, collecting stuff, and then looking at it under the microscope, fresh from there, instead of just get it, ordering the pre-made slides, which like other schools do, we just go and make our own slides. Um, it's such a beautiful campus, and there's so many great places, but I really like the river. And uh, almost every day I walk out along the river with my dog, and um, I'd say that's it. When, when I first came here, I thought, wow, what is this place? I think. And that's, that's when it really hit me that I learn so much that, that's not in the classroom, or not in the traditional, even if it is in the classroom, it's not the traditional way of learning, it's through. There's so much more guided discovery and stuff, it's not... Uh... I like that, like, for classes I can get out and do stuff, not just sit inside all day, you know, and just sit there and, you know, do all, like, textbook work. Yeah. Instead, you know, like, you learn about something, then you get out and actually see it, and, and like, like, for biology and stuff, you actually see it instead of just talking about it, and, you know. A lot of the commitments we've made to our campus community come to life more. I'd love to see the kids taking an active role in taking care of our community and our campus. We live in such a beautiful place, it would be really sad if we didn't do everything we can to take care of it and preserve it for all the kids that we can be here to serve. Um, in addition to being in this physically beautiful, peaceful place, um, I'm much more mindful now than I was before. For those kids that have to have that hands-on learning, I think it, it lends itself to that because we can put on waders and go down into the river and see the marine life. We've got the shores of Lake Michigan. We have the woods. We can go learn with our hands and not just reading it in a book. I think um, this whole area, in fact, is perfect for that. We've got the most beautiful place in the country. Um, to go see sand dunes, to work for the DNR, to do all of these hands-on things that are really important for so many students to learn. And I think we're just surrounded by that here, and so I think that's a huge plus for our school. I've learned so much, even just using my hands and observing. Like, uh, like before I didn't know how to make my own soil, and that I learned this year and uh, compost and learned how to do that. I can do that at home now. And uh, yeah, just little things, you just catch on and I will probably remember it for like the rest of my life. I uh, embrace the Chinese proverb, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, and I do and I understand. And so yeah, I can speak to biology all day long and they'll walk out of the classroom and two or three days later, or maybe even a week later, they'll forget what I said. And if they even go on a field trip with me and they see it and I just point things out and we never get out of the van, then they'll maybe understand better. But if we get out of the van and we use our five senses learning, then we can really impact their uh, memory banks. I can guarantee you that any kid that's been on any of my field trips cannot forget the British Virgin Islands and sailing around and feeling the wind and the ocean spray on your face to slide in the water with a mask, fins and snorkel and see the array of beautiful colors and to then smell the fish as we eat them. There's no better way to learn. <laughs>